So here we have a question involving standing waves. And in this case, we're interested in what we call standing waves in strings. Uh, but the mathematics involved here is the same as the standing waves in open pipes. But in this case, because it's strings, I'm going to use a classic example, and that is a guitar string. A classic uh, acoustic guitar has six strings that have different uh, masses to them, but they all have the same length. And the standard guitar string is usually 648 millimeters. So in other words, I have a string, and I'm going to just draw one of them. We know its length is 648 millimeters. Now that means, of course, it's 0.648 meters. The second thing we're told is the frequency, which is 659.29 hertz. And in this case, what we're trying to work out is what is the velocity of my wave, of my standing wave. Now, remember, it's standing, but that's because what we have is, is if we have a wave going this way and a wave going this way, and they are interfering with each other to produce a standing wave. Now, I can give you straight the formula for the relationship between the frequency, the length, and the velocity, but I'm also going to do a derivation here to show you how we get there. Now, remember that the V is equal to F lambda. Right. So what is a lambda? Well, this is a going to be a standing wave in a fundamental aspect of it. But we have the second harmonic. So because it's a second harmonic, my standing wave is going to be this like so. So you can see in this case, our wavelength is actually equal to L. So now you can see I can work out the velocity relatively straightforward. It's equal to uh, frequency, which is 659.29, multiplied by my length, which is 0.648, and that's going to give me a grand total of 427.2 meters per second. So that's relatively straightforward. Now, if you know the formula, I just want to show you that's the same thing. You can work it out. We know that F is equal to NV over 2L. If I have this as my second harmonic, this becomes two. So you, all I have left is V over L. And again, what we have is what we've just had that before. Hope that's helped you understand a standing wave type of problem. My name is Paul from High School Physics Explained. Take care. Bye for now.